we did a massive planning session for Japan and we have got all of our accommodation sorted out, I think. We're staying in a mix of places that are budget but in the area that we want, a few that are a little bit more of a splurge. Average is out at about $60 per person per night, um, which is pretty good considering that we're staying right in the middle of a few major cities. Pretty happy about how we went with that. This morning I'm on my way to Real to Real Studios. You can probably hear the truck next to me and you might be able to hear some jingling going on in the background. That's because I'm recording some texture tracks today. I've got chimes and tambourine and shakers and a guiro and some cowbells and all sorts of goodies back there. So if you're hearing jingling while I'm chatting with you, that is why. There is a surprising amount of traffic for this early on a Tuesday morning. I've realised the last couple of weeks how excited I am about actually travelling again. The last time I was in an aeroplane was April in 2017 when I was coming back home to Tasmania. And it's now November 2018. Did I say the right years then? I'm sure, I'm just going to change. Loons, because it's crazy. So, April is 12 months. May, June, July, August, September, October, November. It's going to be the end of December. So, that's going to be 20 months between flights. Up until last year, the longest I went without flying somewhere was maybe three months, four months, something like that. So April 2017, I flew back to Tasmania and I had all good intentions of continuing to travel, but it ended up all being within Tasmania. So it's been road trips every time I've gone somewhere. Anyway, a long time between flight traveling by an airplane for the first time in almost two years. If you'd asked me two years ago if I enjoyed traveling by a plane, I would have said not really. I don't necessarily like flying. Um, I get quite anxious. I don't like the idea of being up in the air because if something happens to the plane, oh, I've never parachuted before, the plane might catch fire, you know, all these terrible things could happen. And so yeah, I get anxious. But yeah, hours of nothing that I can possibly do other than just sit on the plane, maybe watch a movie, have a nap, eat something, chat with Pete, unless he's trying to have a nap, then don't talk to him because that would be really mean. It should be a lot of fun. Check in with me on that because I may not find it fun after a couple of hours. So. Ooh, the percussion's loving this road. Jingle, jingle all the way. Um, so Zarvan and I were in university together and we played in a lot of bands. Jazz bands, blues bands, pop bands, rock bands. We had a lot of fun making music, hanging out, doing our thing. And then after uni, he moved to Europe, to Berlin, and I moved to Brisbane. And so we didn't see each other for, let's just say it's a lot of years since we saw each other. Um, and then we both came back to Tassie, but it took us a while to actually organize to reconnect. And turns out he, uh, he was building a garage with a sort of workshop attached and decided that maybe a recording studio would be more useful to him. I'm looking at the sky and hoping it doesn't rain because at this stage he actually doesn't have a, any soundproofing in the roof or very minimal soundproofing. Um, so if it rains that may interfere with our session but I think it'll hold off. I think we'll be lucky. 
is so beautiful out here. It's just so pretty. I love this drive. I feel really lucky to not only be in touch with, but still be working with some of the same people that I've been working with for decades now. I mean, you get to know somebody really well and then sometimes they just kind of disappear from your life for all sorts of reasons and most of them aren't mean or nasty or you know you just lose touch even with social media even with Facebook with Instagram with Twitter and all sorts of things it's so easy to lose touch with people because everyone's busy everyone's got so much going on your life changes and your priorities shift yeah i feel really lucky we're here that's heaps better It's so weird, it sounds so dead in my headphones and then you put on your room sound and it's like Whoa! I haven't felt this great in at least probably half an hour. Yeah, top stuff. I'm well. Sorry, who are you again? <laughs> My shoes have died tonight. My little toes are being pinched so badly. If it was not raining, I would seriously be doing this in stocking feet. Ow. Definitely changing shoes. Where you wanna be, your dream of 